Yeah, multiple people have apparently been coaching Scott. Apparently he did finally learn that he can look up here and figure out relative sizes of armies. So that's why he decided to attack me. Uh, I was no longer able to trick him just by having a few military units close to his business. Things are not going well. Uh, Scott did have enough of military. Foxton has fallen. And I may have to abandon this game. We'll see how it all goes. But for right now, I've just got to consolidate and see if there's anything salvageable here. There may not be. Like, this might not be a salvageable situation. In multiplayer games like this, you'll often just hit a point where there's nothing you can do but lose. Oh yeah, because of that jungle, I can't even hit him. You just fall back. Continue to fall back. And heal yourself. You guys should swap. So you go here. You go here. And then you go here. I can use my second great general. I'd like to use the great general to get rid of this or to take the city back. Uh, I might just use him in the interim still to give myself a little bit of a combat bonus, at least in the short term. You get in there. But there's not a lot I can do. This game is all but completely over for me. I could sacrifice this horseman to do a moderate amount of damage to that catapult. Not great. kind of want to stay back here and heal so I can then come around, because I can do okay damage to one of those guys. Ooh, his empire minus 10%. Alright, his empire is moderately unhappy, which is good. Just gotta make sure he can't get happiness. So I'd like to sneak in here and pillage this. Might as well start building a military unit here. Not that it'll matter. Or maybe I should just keep building that shrine. I can then build a temple. There's not a lot I can do. Don't have a lot of options. And I pretty much have to rely on Thebes 100% if I have any chance of coming back, which I probably don't. Might be able to sneak out and start another city back here, but that might just prove a liability. If I leave this guy here, he'll get attacked. But I can't hit this guy, so I think this guy has to fall back a little bit. And you fall back here, where you can still cover this radius. You heal... And there's not much I can do now. So long, Egypt. This... This is not salvageable. My only hope is to fuck up Scott enough and then retake this city before I fall too far behind. I don't think I can do it. So I'm pretty much just humoring him until it is actually over and then I just am going to concede the game. So let's see... Oh, he's got one more guy there. I gotta get in and pillage. But I gotta get in and pillage in one round. So check this out. So first things first, let's bring this guy around here so then I can move in and pillage something next turn. Start a plantation, even though it's probably too late for that to be of value. I'd like this guy to heal. He can't move in that quickly to start hitting me. So I might want to get into a slightly more advantageous position. Foxen can't bombard me yet. So at least... Oh, I won't completely die. I wonder if it would have completely died if I attacked with this guy. Well. I can mess it up real bad. And this guy's on the same side of the river. So I could come in and attack him just to weaken him, even though he'll heal next round. 
I have to be aggressive or it's over. Even though it's already over. Let's see. Is there anything I can do? I'll have another swordsman coming up soon. And so it goes. I can no longer assume that Scott will play this game in an ignorant fog. And I'll have to actually take him seriously when we play a second or a third game.